Sup YouTube, this is Slide8Fry here. I realize I am very late to doing this, but uh, that's because I've been very busy with work. I've been, I work seven days a week, so I don't really have much time. But this should be a short and easy one. Plus, I am hard at work with my editing of the... Um, of my review of the Pirates of the of the Pirates of the Caribbean, so I'll just show a little tidbit. Awesome, he got to play such awesome characters. Jeffrey Rush is such an incredible pirate. I fucking love his pirate accent. Seriously, it is so perfect. What the sea urchin is that? R. That be a car. Moving slowly. Could that be a problem? That's not good. It's just a car. Much better than my attempts. Oh, sorry, um, how does that keep showing up? I'm still learning my f new free editing software, Caden Live. I didn't put those there. I swear, Caden Live has a mind of its own. But hey, check out my comedy compilation on this. Okay, anyway. Um, let's get to it. How long? Okay. I actually did see the Super Mario movie trailer already, so I'll just try to add my thoughts uh, since I'm not going to be appearing surprised because I've already seen it, but I'll just add some of the things I'd like to say about it as it plays. Very beautiful. It looks like it looks gorgeous. It looks incredible. And it's all serious right now. Okay, Mick. I love how the the Koopas look like soldiers with the flag and stuff. Wait until you hear Bowser actually talk. <laughs> Open the gates. <laughs> they don't look very threatening. They're just That is but a taste of our fury. Do you yield? <laughs> I do not. That was how he said it. I do not. Like, I don't recall when Jack Black has ever played a villain before. But my goodness, uh, I just love how he voices Bowser here. I mean... I'm sure if you're, I'm um, sure any of the big Mario, big time Mario fans that are watching this, you remember how embarrassing it was when Bowser actually spoke in Super Mario Sunshine. They made him speaking in this actually pretty cool. Jack Black did it, did it, did great. You know, and it's not to say Jack Black is a bad voice actor. He's the main character, Poe in the Kung Fu Panda trilogy, and uh, he's he's fantastic in that. You know, um, yeah, he was. That vegetarian shark in Shark Tale. But his performance as that character was good. It's just that movie wasn't good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, I love Jack Black's voice as Bowser. It's, it's so fitting, even though, you know, we're used to Bowser not talking. And I just love that. He says, I do not. Like, that, that's awesome. <laughs> I finally found it. Now who's gonna stop me? Skadoosh. Like, you hear, you, you can sort of hear the Jack Black at the end, too. With Poe. <laughs> Skadoosh. <laughs> so beautiful to look at this. What is this place? Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! Oh, 
I'm sorry. <laughs> that one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario! <laughs> Mushroom Kingdom, here we come! All right, well, before I continue, uh, with actually, yeah, let's continue. What am I talking about? I'm being stupid. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, I know you want me to mention Chris Pratt's voice as Mario. So, when I saw this trailer for the first time, uh, when it, uh, the, I didn't see it right away. I saw it later that night, not the, not the morning of, and... I absolutely loved the trailer, but then when I heard Mario speak, it, something felt off. I really, it seemed weird. Although this time as I'm watching it, uh, my perspective has changed. It's like, uh, well, you know, let's just wait and see how Mario sounds when the full movie comes out. Let's be fair to Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt is an amazing actor. You can't deny it. At one point, he was my favorite actor in the world because of... Just his amazingness as Star Lord in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies, and how amazing he's he's been in the Jurassic World films. Um, and um, I actually had not realized what his voice acting credits were. I didn't realize he was the main character from the Lego movie, so that's cool. Uh, that movie's awesome. I, I need to see the second one at some point, but um, and I need to see Lego Batman at some point as well. But anyway. Um, and, uh, I heard he was also the voice of the older brother in, um, Onward, and I thought he was pretty great in that. I mean, that's a, that's a, it's a pretty beautiful Pixar film. Um, anyways, I also would like to point out that, um, I don't, I, I never really watched It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, where Ch Charlie Day is most well known from, but I remember Charlie Day in the movie Horrible Bosses, and... Just think about it. If <laughs> the way that Charlie Day's character was in Horrible Bosses, and then you think about Luigi, that seems like the perfect fit. Come on, think about that. Just the way he acts, the way he behaves. Um, it's perfection. <laughs> it's like the perfect fit. Um, I don't know about the other characters. Uh, Keegan Michael Key as uh, Toad. It didn't. It didn't have that raspy toad voice that you're used to from the games. But to be honest, that probably would be hard to listen to for an entire film. I think his toad voice was good. I think for a movie, it's, it's a good choice. Good, good voice. Um. So yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to the movie. I think it's gonna be really amazing when it comes out. Um, maybe there's gonna be issues here and there. It might not be perfect. I know a lot of people can't stand illumination. I know a lot of people can't. Um, give him a chance. Some people, Shafe Rilvius, or whatever the hell's name is, among other reviewers, basically will say that the only good Illumination film was Despicable Me. After that, they didn't really try. They just pushed marketing, and they're really good at the marketing thing. I disagree. I, they've made some other good films. Th then again, I'm much more forgiving when it comes to animated films, because I understand a lot of them are made for a more general audience anyway. Um, like, I actually liked um, the Lorax, although since knowing about the song Biggering and how that could have been in the film but instead was replaced, how bad I, 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 can I be, um, that changed my opinion about it. The Biggering would have been the perfect song for the Lorax. Uh, do a search for it on YouTube. You won't regret it. It's It represents exactly what that film is, what the original, what, what Dr. Seuss was actually trying to say when he wrote the Lorax in the first place, way back in the 70s, I think. Um, anyways, that's that's off topic, getting close to 10 minutes. If I, I go about that, I'll be too long for TikTok. Anyway, um, yeah, I'd say give this movie a chance. I think uh, Illumination has released some good films, um, some bad films, but... Yeah, I mean it's Super Mario Bros. It's gonna be fun, even if it's not that good. It'll be it'll be a blast. Trust me, it will be.